Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. I have a special review to share with you guys today of a beautiful little doll all the way from China from an independent doll designer. So I am so, so excited to have her here again on my channel. But before we get started, I do have to remind you guys that today's video is not intended for children. All the content that I create here on my channel is created and intended for adult audiences only. I do not create content for children. If you are under the age of 18 and you really want to watch Watch this video please make sure that you have an adult or a guardian a parent of some kind <laughs> 18 years and above in the room with you watching this video at all times new rules and regulations online that recently came out have affected all of us video creators specifically here on YouTube in order for us to continue creating beautiful content here and being able to monetize from that because we spend a lot of time making these videos. Please abide by those rules and me and really all of my community here can continue making fun doll content for all of us to enjoy. So I have a very special video to share with you guys today. A big, big thank you to Zayok Peng from China who is the fabulous designer of Miko dolls. I've reviewed two Miko dolls on my channel before that he has sent me and I actually have another anniversary set. Um, that I haven't yet broken into because I've loved the way that they've been displayed in their box. <laughs> um, it's a duo doll set, so I'll have to take a look at that with you guys sometime as well. But this is Zayok's brand new collection. He just launched three of these beautiful dolls in three different hair colors and slightly different complexion colors as well. And I believe they're already sold out. Uh, these dolls are called Super Miko, and I did get a little card with it as well, which says only for Suresh on it, which is so, so, so sweet. It's a limited release, um, as is all of his dolls, really. So along with, you know, big companies like Integrity, there are so many amazing artists uh, that are making beautiful dolls for us to enjoy. If you are looking for collectibles, if you are looking for handmade, if you are looking for special little touches, these types of dolls are it. My box is a little bit dented. I think it came dented um, from postage. Dioke does communicate with um, you independently on Instagram. So if you are interested in one of these dolls, please, please check out the description box below. I will have his Instagram account there. Just drop him a message, say that you saw, you know, Miko and Super Miko here on my channel and he will treat you really well and take good care of you. He does offer free shipping. The dolls are a little bit pricey. They're kind of on par with Integrity Toys um, pricing but think about this though they're almost all handmade so you are not just paying for a company you're paying for the actual artist who made the doll and it's these types of um, dolls and art that will continue to keep our trade alive well our hobby I guess <laughs> so it's a beautiful little acetate box here completely see-through on all sides and it says super Miko here on the front in beautiful silver metallic writing we see the doll inside uh, very simply displayed there is a rubber band going around her neck and hair and then one around her ankles and then we also see a little accessory there in the back. It looks like almost like chains or a necklace of some kind perhaps. And then a little silica gel packet to make sure that she stays nice and dry. The great thing about the box also is that they can be displayed right back in there. So um, for those of you guys that like keeping your dolls in your box, fantastic way to uh, display them. Okay, let's go ahead and get this box open so that we can get a closer look at Super Miko here. Here we go, this is what she looks like outside of the box. You can hear the silica gel just shaking away down here. So let's go ahead and get these little tabs out of here. So there are the little elastic tabs with the little silver ends. So it's one uh, clear sheet of acetate like, uh, like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take her little accessories bag here out as well. I'm excited to see what this is. So let's, let's just open it up, shall we? <laughs> so this is what was inside the bag. Very cool, very interesting. It's almost like a little chains whip situation. And I feel like this might go like around her neck and then around her wrist maybe? Hmm, I'm gonna have to refer to those photos of his um, to see exactly <laughs> where it goes. She does also have a beautiful white hairnet on, so we're gonna go ahead and take that out. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. She is definitely like giving me some Beyonce vibes, for sure. And I feel like if I was a Miko doll, this is who I would be. I mean, you guys know I love my blonde. <laughs> oh, cute, there's a little hood back here as well to the outfit. Okay, okay, okay. Hey girl, hey. Oh, cool, it does open up just like so, okay. 
So there we go, the claw opens up just like that. Here is sweet little Super Miko out of her box, fully dressed for you guys to get a better look at. The little uh, top part of that that's around her neck does actually clamshell open and close. So that is a nice little feature. She does have beautiful hair, gorgeous skin, and applied lashes there as well. Love her makeup, love her little ensemble here. It's like a beautiful one-piece bodysuit ensemble that I think is indeed very um, Beyonce-esque. And then here in the back, we see a little hood there as well. And then we actually see that it's like multiple pieces there. So it's like a little, perhaps a bra top underneath this and then the bodysuit over that. So I love that. Um, she does have slightly darker skin, so almost kind of my complexion, just a little bit rosier perhaps. And these big, beautiful boots as well. The heel does um, kind of bend in down here which almost makes me wonder if the shoes are too big for her, but I don't feel like they are. So, um, you know, I mean, obviously not a huge deal, but it's just kind of um, showing us the handmade nature of this piece. They are fully zippered boots there. So again, taking inspiration from integrity in that construction, which I love. Here is her hair from the back. Um, it's really pretty, shiny, glossy blonde hair. It does feel like there's some product in here, and I think that might be perhaps to maintain the crimp, so I don't intend on messing with that too much. Um, yeah, she's just a sweet, sweet doll. I love this fabric too. It's like very kind of like a lame mix, and I am here for it. Oh, by the way, check out her little manicure. Cute, right? Adorable. So let's go ahead and get Miko's pieces off here so that we can get a better look at them. The boots, I'm gonna go ahead and zip her down just like so. Uh, these are almost like identical to FR boots and Integrity uh, shoes in general, so I love that. Wow, yes, gorgeous, yes, yes, yes. By the way, Miko does feel squishy and Zayok did tell me that her um, joints are wired, so she does bend back um, here and there, you can move her joints around. It's a very interesting feeling. It kind of uh, makes me think of dolls that I used to buy in Sri Lanka as a kid, or my grandmother would somehow buy me after begging and screaming for hours. <laughs> and then we see a whole string of um, silver hooks here in the back that undo her beautiful little bodysuit here. Oh, interesting. It is actually one piece, in fact. All right, okay. It is sewn here under the bust. So we see right there that the bodysuit is sewn onto the little bra portion here at the top. So, okay, I'm down for that. Always down for a good one piece. Miko does definitely have a very shapely little body as well, which is really fun. So if you are a doll clothes designer or just love making your own clothes for your dolls. She has a really fun little proportion to play with, so you will appreciate that. Here is our beautiful little Super Miko in the buff so that you guys can get a better look at her itty bitty darling little body. She does measure approximately nine inches from head to toe, and her proportions are quite lovely as well. Um, obviously, she's made to look good in clothing but she does have a, a sweet little hourglass shape almost. She also has a very beautiful texture to her skin. It feels almost like very soft, smooth, like soft touch makeup from the early days of NARS almost. Um, the vinyl that he uses is quite lovely. There is no smell or scent to it at all. Everything's quite pliable. Um, we see here even her little hands can be moved around and kind of shaped. They don't maintain any sort of shape or they're not really like reshapeable per se, but if you had a heat gun with you or um, a hair dryer even, you could probably manipulate it just a little bit. Um, she does have a sweet little manicure here, which I love, and then the impression of little molded fingers there on both her hands. Um, her face is absolutely gorgissimo. It's the same exact Miko face that I have seen in my other four dolls. I love her makeup. Uh, she has almost like a really beautiful iridescent green liner on. It's like green in some lights, kind of yellowy in some lights. Really beautiful. Zyok's makeup screenings are always really, really beautiful. And I love her little puckered lips there in like a flesh tony beigey pink. So, so pretty. There are her applied lashes. We see her beautiful big doughy eyes there. 
and sweet little eyebrows as well nice and long elongating her beautiful big eyes she definitely has that asian um, sensibility in that i know from many other doll collectors and many friends that um, Asian doll collectors, specifically East Asian doll collectors, that is, love the big eye doughy look. I know that's very popular in Japan and Taiwan and um, China, which is where Miko's from, etc., etc. So, yeah, I love that. Um, she actually is also pretty easy to pierce um, earrings into. She does not come with any jewelry per se, but very easy to grab a needle and um, Put earrings on i think i did that to one of my previous miko dolls and yes yeah, she even has a little uh, sweet little impression of a clavicle there and then there is her little bust we see a uh, articulation point there underneath her bust just like so there we are uh, and then she has a little belly button there as well a little indicator of a belly button there's her right hand or left hand actually so you can see her little manicure uh, same color as her lips and then there are, are her shapely little hips. And then scrolling down, we see her sweet little feet. She has almost like a semi high heeled foot. It's not fully high heeled. And then she has a little pedicure there as well, the same color as her manicure. So her legs can be bent just like so. Zayok did inform me that her joints are, um, they have metal inside. So that enables her to have some range of motion without there necessarily being joints. So that's pretty cool. And I believe her arms also are, uh, yep, there we go, just like that. So there's metal here at her elbows and you just very gently kind of hold it and bend it into place and there we go. Cute, right? So nice little option indeed. Um, it definitely, keeps her looking whole that she doesn't have you know all these little joints everywhere especially at her size considering that she's itty bitty really and um her hair is really beautiful it feels quite lovely there is product in it which might be holding this crimp in place so i don't really mind that too much it's a beautiful golden blonde color which you guys know is one of my favorite hair colors <laughs> um, and then there is uh the back of her head you can actually see some of her uh, head there. It's like painted gold almost to kind of blend in with the hair. So the full head is rooted um, just like that, in case you were wondering. Okay, okay. Uh, and then there she is from the back. She has a sweet little indication of a bum there and then the center marking of her back as well. Um, in terms of full articulation, her head obviously moves around and then her arm goes up and down like so. We already talked about it being able to bend a little bit. She is able to move here underneath her breast area and then her legs kick up just like so and they kick back and you can give it a little bit of a bend there as well. So limited articulation, but again, um, for being a handmade doll, and something kind of different than most of our 12 inch fashion dolls i absolutely love her sensibility and i think she is so sweet here is her cool little ensemble um Zayok did mention in a few of his posts that he was inspired by fr dolls um, this also has like a very beyonce on stage feel to me <laughs> i love this uh almost like tinsel-y metallic uh, threaded fabric it's so pretty it's like a black base with a silver thread running through it just gorgeous it almost looks like dance wear you know has a little stretch to it as well um, it's one piece that is really cute it's about a hooded bodysuit there's the little hood there of course is the bodysuit silhouette and then there is a little bra top sewn into it to kind of give it some dimension and some texture love that uh, there are closures here in the back to get it on and off the doll. We see three um, very traditional hooks there that are uh, all done by hand. So I adore that. And then uh, thread loops here on this side of the fabric. Um, yeah, definitely metallic threaded fabrics. So there's a little metallic thread coming out right there. And then on the inside, um, it looks like it is in fact fully lined. So I love that. Uh, the hood portion is lined as well in like a very sheer uh, trico almost 
Nice, very, very nice. Okay, the construction is done quite nicely. The seams are all finished off really, uh, really uh, neatly. And I will say this fabric isn't that easy to work with because it pulls very, very easily. So I'm impressed that they were able to get it so nice and neat, you know? Um, so kudos to you, Zyok, and your team for making these beautiful little dolls um, with these beautiful little pieces. I love it. Here is Miko's boot up close and personal for you guys to get a better look at. It's a beautiful muted uh, faux leather fabric here. I love, love, love this kind of creamy, milky silver. So pretty. It goes up past her knee, right above her knee actually. The construction of it is very nice. Uh, the uh, outsoles are white and the heel is kind of a chunkier heel and that is in white as well. Uh, it's like a fabric outsole here and then a plastic heel and then a white zipper going up the back. And then on the inside, we see very straightforward but clean construction um, of the center seam coming together of the boot and the zipper detail and the insoles look like they are also like a white fabric, just like that, you see. So yeah, really nice. Um, I'm always surprised at the level of detail that go into some of these independent designers because this has to not be that easy to do even at a factory level, you know? Um, I mean, look at that little stitching, stitching detail there. So cute, lots of top stitching here. So yeah, love that. Is her little uh, chain accessory detail. This little ring up here does open and close, so that's cool. Um, it's definitely like got a very kind of s and fetishy vibe. Yeah, I love that. So there we have it, guys. This is the absolutely adorable Miko. She is part of the brand new Super Miko collection from Miko Dolls by Zayok. Uh, thank you again to Zayok for sending her to me. I absolutely adore your work. I'm so proud of you, and I love the doll. Big, big uh, hugs to you. I hope that um, we see many more years of you continuing to do these dolls. She is so, so sweet, you guys. If you are looking for a beautiful collector doll to add to your collection of a different scale, I highly, highly recommend her. Please check out the description box down below. There'll be a link to Zyok's Instagram. It's at Miko Dolls. You can drop him a note, tell him that he came from Suresh and you're looking for one of his dolls and he'll be able to assist you from there. I am so, so happy to now have my fifth Miko doll. I hope you guys enjoyed today's review. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell icon after you subscribe and that way you guys will be notified every time I upload a brand new video. Follow me on Instagram, I'm at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. And until I see you guys again, Miko and I are gonna go hit the town. She's excited to be here in Seattle with me and we're gonna go meet the rest of the gals and boys and um, check out what's popping on this post-quarantine evening. <laughs> Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses from me and Miko here in Seattle. Mwah! And I'll see you guys again next week for another video, okay? Bye.